Hi guys and welcome to my very first art studio tour. I love to watch art tour, art studio tour and I was so looking forward to the one myself. Thank you so much for taking part to my last week giveaway i have plenty of giveaways coming soon one in this very video tell you more about later also guys i'm really really trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and should i be able to do that i will give away three gift cards so if you want to have a end of the year beginning of new year special make sure to click the subscribe button and share the love with other people as well get them to subscribe the more of you are in this community the more i'm able to help i really hope i can get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so that i can be a full-time artist and i can stay home and taking care of my child at the same time Plus, I think art is the most important thing for taking care of our mental health. I think it's the most valuable and effective tool that we have at our disposal. So I do want to share the love for art as much as possible because we all are struggling so much with our mental health after all that has happened in this recent year. So let's bring ourselves together as community and let's take care of ourselves with art. Thank you for subscribing. Let's go back to the video. The truth is, and I shared it already with you in a short, I don't really have a studio to tour you in. All I have is a shelf. But I'm actually lying because I don't just use this shelf as uh, storage for my art supplies but also these two little square shelf so I have a slightly more than a single shelf but I wanted to share with you because I think that sometimes a whole studio tour can be intimidating for people that just want to start and they think like they have to own so much to uh, make art when honestly all you need is a pencil and medium of choice uh, uh, paper and uh, honestly not even that like my son loves to paint on the wall uh, okay it's not even two but you don't really need a lot so i thought to just be brave and share this shelf studio tour with you guys so i hope you enjoy I hope you uh, find it inspiring somehow and let me know in the comment in case that i achieve my goal i'll give you just an up close from here so I have this other shelf about on the side, but we still don't put much because uh, we need to reinforce it still. So this is being reinforced so I can add some extra weight. But this and now, so I'm just having my plant. I'm having a couple of items there on the corner. And then here is all where I have lots of sketchbooks and art supplies. And here is where I store some more extra thing. So here uh i have some stamps that you seen also in a recent haul that uh, they are also part of my art then i keep my craft supply somewhere else i have here my gesso and my varnish here in the corner these are a sketchbook that i already complete uh, some sketchbook were like missing a couple of pages and I decided to just remove them and put it on the active sketchbook that I'm actually using. Uh, this one, it was two sketchbook for the price of one. So one I kept it wrapped and it won't be used for now until I'm actually finished the other one. 
and I start to use soft pastel and I read that you can store the dust and then when you have enough you can create a lovely gray pastel just mixing with some water so I'm experimenting with that I had just um, you know plastic uh, thing uh, cup and uh, yeah put the dust in here are all the sketchbook uh, most of them are started this one no these two were actually a set of three watercolor pads so one is active and i'm using the other two i'm storing it for later uh, one is not even unwrapped because i only bought it because it was a super uh, offer was just one pound for a watercolor pad and the other is just a sketch pad so when I finish my drawing pad I will use this one so uh, the sketchbook I'm using I have this super tiny one that I find in my house and I started uh, and I want to finish because I think it would be really really uh, cute to have uh, some little sketch in here so I'm keeping in the active one here I think half of it is complete so I still have to go but it's a simple drawing uh, sketch pad this is my watercolor pad that I'm using at the moment and then I have uh, quite a few from uh, Scloret Box subscription that I had for a little while going on so I have uh, some acrylic paper I have uh, some drawing paper and what I have here this is a Bristol paper so I'm really happy to get an experiment with different uh, paper medium this I bought it during a holiday so it's a ton of paper gray and uh, like sandy color so beautiful I have here some uh, uh, marker paper that I bought in the dollar store and I have a bigger marker pad that I'm actually using like this I use more for just uh, you know swatching and quick sketch and then I'm using the bigger one the F4 or 4 bigger artwork and then here I have my mixed media block and uh, a couple of handmade paper inside I uh, link all the video where I mentioned this stuff uh, down below and then here I have uh, Mar Mariah Elizabeth create your own book uh, that I'm actually using just as a sketching because I really don't work too well on following prompts so I decided to keep using it for just catching myself and here is a pad where you could also paint your cover and I did it and I put it in a short and you guys really hated it I had the most negative comment in that short so yeah it's sitting here on the side I wanted to make like a portrait book to get better on it and um, I have to come back to it uh, here I have uh, this board that I wanted to uh, you know paint on it and make a design uh, bought also a couple of more stuff that I get to uh, design myself uh, sorry uh, I still didn't get around to do this uh, but I will those are the only two mixing palette I own this one is for acrylic this one is for watercolor that's it I'll clean it when I need to use it and I don't need to own too many stuff two palettes, one for acrylic, one for watercolor. Most of the watercolor, I actually just mix it uh, whenever they have their own mixy side. And sometimes acrylic, I just have an extra paper next to it and I like to mix it on the paper. So I'm very rudimental, very frugal. I don't really need a lot. So here I'm storing... Uh, a few tin that I don't really use them much also I want to mention here is missing the sketchbook that I'm using on a daily basis because it's somewhere else and I'll show you later where it is 
So I move this forward and what I have is a graphite stick. I really love to own this and sometimes I sketch with this one, but I don't use it as much as I uh, would love. And lately I'm into colors a lot, so I'm not doing much sketching. My sketch is very quick and I really don't care about a specific pencil. So some pencil in here that I'm not even using because I'm just having any general, general pencil. Here is a little tin of watercolor. So sometimes if I want to do something very quick, I will use this one just for me, just for sketch. Got some nice color in there. Works. And here are just some general tool, compass, like ruler and general stuff, nothing special. So I'm not using this one on a daily base right now. So here are my medium, like here. <laughs> so basically half is sketchbook, half is medium. Here I hope that by the time this video come out, one of you asked to have this uh, and I'm posting it to you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a giveaway uh, recently and just realized I forgot to tell you something. Uh, there is a giveaway also in this video, guys. So if you want to know more about it, stay tuned because I'll talk a little bit more later on. Now let's continue with the tour. All right, so here we have it, a metallic color pen. Time to time I use it, they add something extra uh, to uh, my painting. Here is Senelier uh, oil pastel. Here you have it, those are Senelier oil pastel. I do have also a, this box of oil pastel, super, super cheap, that uh, eventually in a few years my son will take over. And I also have fiber castell oil pastels that I haven't used it yet, but by the time this video will come out, I will have used it. Uh, soft pastel set here, and this other set, set of fiber castell soft pastel. I was just painting uh, with this one, so it was somewhere else, but usually I keep it here. This is a set of watercolor tubes. And here is my Proud and Joy, my professional acrylic set from Winsor & Newton. I haven't opened the box yet, but yeah, definitely I uh, will do it tomorrow after tomorrow. And here I have a calligraphy ink set. I bought it to paint with them and I still didn't get around to do it. So I, that's something is coming. Let me know if you guys are interested to see me painting with calligraphy ink. Okay, here is my set of paint markers. I recently used it and really enjoy using it, so I will be using this baby more. This is one of the set of watercolor that I own. And with a brush, this is my go-to acrylic paint that I use on a daily base almost. Uh, they are a mixed brand so I decided to put them all together. Uh, the big top of white and then I'll mix them. Uh, but once this mix set will finish I think I will just keep going with professional set and maybe one cheaper set for sketchbook. I think that's always good to have. Uh, but yeah, I just put this in the, my uh, small bag and take it with me when I want to paint the all in one place. Here I have a Mia watercolor set. This has been so far my go-to for traveling, but I cre I'm going to create, I'm not sure it's out, I don't think it's going to be out yet. I'm going to create my own travel palette, so smaller, more packed and affordable. So this I may just use maybe uh, to travel local, I don't know, to paint somewhere, I don't know, in the house. 
this watching card is always useful uh, this is my wash set and this is my super cheap acrylic set there are 60 of them so i like that they stay nice and compact and organized in this box so i love it so i keep it here for now i'm not sure this video is out yet but we paint on mini canvases in case you get i think you're gonna get a lot of spoiler uh, on this video this is a box of uh, mixed stuff that maybe are extra or just i don't know where to keep them organized so i'll just put everything in this box we have some washi tape some spare brushes super cheap brushes spare pencil these are my extra watercolor uh, brushes i put few in our diy watercolor box uh, otherwise a few more are here some extra pan uh, some fine liner i have a more fine liner here on the back uh, more gel pen and stuff some pins i have uh, some neo color uh, marker there's this big marker here i have more watercolor set i have uh, my uh, needable eraser that I never know where to store it safely so it's there and I have those cute pads right here that I found in a shop and I bought quite a few of them they are so cute and pretty and compact so just for like uh, sketching ideas on the go so it's keeping one of these is my backpack actually actually guys if you want to know what i keep in my uh, to go bag for sketching uh, while i'm outside because you never know when the inspiration will hit you just let me know down in the comment there are a few items simple quick that don't take too much space uh, that i keep in my bag so yeah let me know if you want to see that so this shelf tour is complete. I'm gonna show you what I have in these other two box and then I'll show you where I usually draw sketch in the house. But I want to tell you about today giveaway. So I'm going to give away a 20 pound Amazon gift card to whoever of you that decide to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment where it's simple as that by the way i also think that this is going to be my background from now on when i'm filming uh, because i really don't like the background that i'm using right now it's so super sad to start a video like i'm doing right now so i want more than a dynamic uh, more dynamic background but this is still quite gray but unfortunately we don't get much light in here so i think i will stick some painting here some of my painting so people can tune for the first time and also see what i'm doing so we will do that together here what i have is a random cute box full of everything here are all my sharpies and uh, pen and a kids marker <laughs> every single color it's a full-on box i have everything like seriously there's so much in here there's so many brand that i actually got it second hand and it's full like i don't really have color pencil there is a random color pencil in there but i don't have it so this is another tripod the mini one that i take it when i travel and this is a dollar store 15 mechanical pencil i use one the other 14 i will give it them away at some point because i will never get to use it i have so many here on the top i have a set of marker as well double-ended market I'm not really used it, so I think I will give this away as well. But I'm not sure because I have a son that is under two, and all of, most of this stuff he will be probably using it at school or to play. He's already using it in my watercolor set to to play. 
so here is an ephemera box that I made. I love to DIY ephemera. So yeah, I did the box of this one and I put it on Etsy. So if you guys are interested, I will have my Etsy shop going just until the end of the year. And then that's it. Uh, this is just a food card box that I'm turning into a journal that I want to I, uh, decoupage everything. And then next year, this will be my journal to organize my day-to-day uh, -day life, especially my YouTube videos and so on. And this is the... Uh, watercolor uh, palette that we create together so pretty and uh, it's actually open because I'm going to make a video using it very soon this week sometimes this week next to it we have um, jar with brushes these in here are acrylic brushes so when I want to paint acrylic, I'm just coming in here and grabbing this one. And I have a bunch of really random pencil that for the kind of sketching are, I'm doing right now, these are more than enough. And I also have my fine liner, that black, purple, thinner, thicker, that I'm using the most. And then I have the spare one in this box right here. And here I have a color pencil. All my color pencil are here, a different brand. My Chanographic, my eraser, and mechanical pencil is here. And mm -hmm. here on the back I have a fixative. I try to use it very rarely because it smells like crazy. And even with the window open, it's nothing to, to do. Here are two cards that I made. They are very, very pretty. And I find this vase in a charity shop. Also find this vase in a charity shop. And I made this one myself. This is the location where I like to sketch. So uh, this is a big uh, drawing sketchbook that I have and it doesn't fit there in the shelf. It will take too much space and not look nice. So I rather keep it here. And this is the sketchbook that I'm using the most right now. It's just a simple drawing sketchbook, very, very cheap and affordable. But I like to look outside of the window. There's a lot of construction work right now, but it's nice to get to lift my eyes and look at the natural light outside them. So here is usually, I'll keep it up here. And if it's a canvas, I will stand it right here. So I actually get to stand while painting instead of sitting that this is really, really precious. And at the moment here, I have just a bunch of craft item boxes that I don't know where uh, to keep it. But Right now, I rather focus on my art.
All right, we did it. My new background is finally ready. So I think you're gonna see me filming video from here. Let me know if I need to make any adjustment, what you think. I really want you to be part of this channel. Plus, don't forget about the giveaway. And if you watch this video too late and you missed it, don't worry, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I make plenty of giveaway and they are going to become more and more as I grow in this channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.